What's going on guys? Today we're gonna to talk about the blind spot when starting your first business. Now, one of the things that I consistently see is here on YouTube is a lot of people talking about how I started my business from a very temporary situation. You will see I did drop shipping for a week. I did drop shipping for 30 days. I did Amazon FBA for a week. I did Amazon FBA for 30 days. I tried this for a very short period of time. And this is part of the blind spot because I've had corporate training on how to create a sales process. And I sat real close to the owners of the business where I learned the things that it took to start a business. And let me go ahead and say something. You're not going to start a business in 30 days. You can get into the starting phase. You can get into getting your LLC, getting your EIN, getting your business bank account, getting your first business credit card. You could do all that pretty simply in 30 days or less. But what is starting your business? I'm going to give you the definition of actually getting your business started. You've got your LLC, you've got your business structure. That's real simple. That's something you can do really fast. When I talk about getting your business started, I'm talking about getting your business up, running and making money, which for many people could take, if it's a service business, a service business, you can literally start it in the morning and by five or 6 p.m. that night, you've made money service business is the fastest way to make money in the current business space. You start another business, you could be looking at working three months, four months, five months, six months before you can make money that you can put in your pocket. In some larger businesses, you may be waiting years. And this all is part of the blind spot because we're on the internet and I have this understanding that many people feel that they can come to the internet, get information off of the internet, start their business, and instantaneously start making money. Now with some things that's true, with Instagram, OnlyFans, there are certain things you can do where you can build up something and you can literally start making money. This is true, but this does not apply to every business. And that's where things get a little dicey, a little unclear, and this is where people get a little confused because the blind spot is you simply don't know. This doesn't mean that you're stupid. Doesn't mean that you're dumb. It just means that you have entered into a business model that you don't know a lot about. And this blind spot is one of the reasons that I feel that so many people fail in business, not because they didn't have what it takes, because they didn't know what they were dealing with. And this is one of the reasons I try to be honest, clear, and transparent to give you guys the scope on a realistic level because here's how i feel i think that if you have the truth you know what you're getting yourself into you know what you're going to be dealing with this gives you incredible insight this gives you incredible vibes this gives you incredible accuracy what you're dealing with when creating you videos when you're creating Instagram posts, when you're tweeting, it gives you insights. It gives you the ability to know what's going on. And one of the things that I consistently see is a lot of hyper competitiveness. You could start this business in a week or you could start this business in 30 days and literally start getting paid. And once again, there are certain business models that you can. Once again, I'll say this at the top of my list. A service business is a business that you can start today and you can make money today. But there are other many businesses. Like, give me an example. My first YouTube business was Conundrum Publishing. It took me three months of writing to start making any money because I had to write the book, get it edited, and that was kind of like a disaster because I actually had to have that bit book edited not once, but twice. And one of the things that I ran into was it takes certain time for certain businesses to mature. And because of this blind spot, and once again, let me say this as compassionately as I can. The blind spot means that you've entered into a business model where there's a lot of things that you simply do not know. 
doesn't mean that you're stupid doesn't mean that you're dumb it just means that you've entered into a space that you don't know a lot about let's go ahead and talk about airbnbs if you've been here for a minute you know that i've been posting a lot about what I call the failed Airbnbs, that these houses that are fully furnished, that they're trying to put into a long-term rental market for an exaggerated price. So that was something I used to do a lot of studying in. And now on the Airbnb channels, they're starting to say that a lot of people who got into Airbnb are starting to lose money. Go figure. And they're saying this and they're talking about people who have co-hosting and all this other stuff, but I'm gonna tell you, if your Airbnb, number one, isn't in the right location, your chances of losing money are like 99%, because that's what makes Airbnb really relevant, having it in the right location and having it for the right money. Now, one of the things that you have to do, one of the things you have to understand is with Airbnb, there's been a lot of people who've gotten into that space. They were listening to the YouTube videos, they were listening to the TikTok videos, they were listening to the Instagram posts, they were listening to the CNBC posts where all these people, it's like, hey, I've been doing Airbnb for a year and we made $150,000 and people say, I want a piece of that action. I'm gonna get an Airbnb, I'm going to either rent a place or I'm going to buy a place and then I'm gonna set it up as an Airbnb. And what has happened is Airbnb is being attacked by many fronts. Many cities are outlawing Airbnbs or saying that you can only, you must own Airbnb. There's a lot of Airbnb pushback. There's a lot of Airbnb legislation. And if you did not get into Airbnb from the business mindset, because I will say this, there are people who own Airbnb setups who are making incredible amounts of money right now. But these are the business people. These are not the people who watch the YouTube video and it's like, oh, Airbnb, I'm gonna get on Airbnb. And <clears throat> once again, it's that blind spot. And you, when you have this blind spot, you just don't really know. Like, I, I'll give you an example of how I use the reverse of the blind spot to make money. When I was in the storage auction business, I noticed that the people who would like, sometimes we would go to a public storage and we'd be in the office and there would be people in there trying to rent a storage auction unit and the auction would start and they would just hang out and they would come out and these people would always be saying, he bid that for that? They had no clear understanding of what we were bidding on, how we were bidding, and this formed the foundation for making money A to Z with self storage during auctions. The fact that there were so many people who had no clue to what we were bidding on and it just looked crazy to them because they didn't have an understanding because they, they had a blind spot. And when you have a blind spot, you just can't see certain things. You cannot feel certain things because of that blind spot. And I turned that blind spot into a business because I came to YouTube and started doing storage auction videos to start talking about it. I wrote the book, I sold the book, I did consulting, I created more books, I created Pimpin' Craigslist. And it created a career for me using that blind spot because there were so many people who were part of that blind spot who did not have advanced understanding of what was going on in the storage business. And a blind spot can be a method for you to make profit if you know that a bunch of people want to get into what you're doing and you know there's a huge blind spot. The bigger the blind spot, the more money you can make. And that book actually did really well because the blind spot was huge. Now, let's go ahead and talk about striking when the moment's hot. If I wrote that book, I wrote that book 14, 15 months before the storage auction shows came on television. If I had written that book when the, you know, after the shows that came on St Storage Wars, Storage Auction Hunters, whatever, if I had written that book after the storage auction shows that came out, I wouldn't have made one tenth of the money that I made. So there's another thing, there's an opportunity cost when you enter the market at the right time. And for me, writing that book, creating a YouTube channel, creating a blog, using the information from a blind spot was perfect timing. 14 months was perfect timing. And I'm gonna explain to you why. It gave me time to 
populate the YouTube channel, gave me time to fill out the blog, gave me time to work on the book. So I was at a point where after the shows came out and people went to the internet and it's like storage auctions, guess what they found? They found my YouTube channel and they found my blog. And that blind spot has closed. The information that I put out in making money A to Z with self storage auctions, it's not as relevant as it was at the time because most storage auction units, storage auctions are held online. Totally different game plan. So you gotta look at your computer and bid on these storage units and then go clean it out. Because one of the reasons I think they did this is it saves a lot of money because you don't have to have an auctioneer, you just have people bid on it, they come in and pay and they pick it up. So that whole business model doesn't exist anymore. It doesn't exist anymore. And for, fortunately for me, 2009, 2010, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, that worked for seven years. That was making money from that blind spot for seven years. So blind spots can be good if you are an operator or you're a creator or you want to set certain things up. But as a operator in the business, having a, if you're aware that you have a huge blind spot, that's a plus. If you're aware that you have this blind spot, if you know that you have this blind spot, give you another case of having a blind spot. And I'll go really fast with this. When I was living in a boarding house and then I used the monster.com to get a job, I got that job and I instantly knew that I was in a blind spot. I prepared my resume, I did my appropriate interviews, got the job. And when I learned that job, when I got that job, I knew I was in the blind spot. I knew it. So one of the things that I did shortly after I got hired was order a book on how to do cold calling. So if you are fundamentally aware that you're in the blind spot, that you need a lot of learning, that you need a lot of things that you have to work on, there's things you have to build, there's things you have to put together, that's a positive. But if you're into something and you have no clue that you're in the blind spot, it's gonna hit you and it's gonna hit you really hard because there's this couple here on YouTube, they're into the Airbnb space and they've been in the Airbnb space for two years, right? And they put out a video talking about, we're gonna leave Airbnb, we're going to get to self-hosting. They've been in the Airbnb space two years and they already see where this is going. They already see what's getting ready to happen. And because they are aware of what's gonna happen, not this year, not maybe next year, not the year after, but year three, four, five years in the future, this is gonna happen. They're starting to prepare because they are not in a blind spot. They're not in a blind spot. They're 100% aware of what's happening and they're preparing their business for this contingency that's gonna happen. Because blind spots are not bad. They're not bad, but because people are in these blind spots and they in a hurry to make money, these blind spots are looked upon as being really bad, looked upon as being really terrible, looked upon as being dangerous. And because it's be starting your business fast, getting your business up, making money, getting, that could make you totally not see the blind spot because you're trying to make money really fast. You're trying to grow your business really fast. There are so many things that you're trying to do that you are not aware of the blind spot. You're not aware of the issues. You're not aware of the deficiencies. You're just completely not aware. And one of the things that happens with this is that you get pretty much blown out the water. Like I said, blind spots are not bad. You're not stupid. You're not dumb. You're just walking. I'll give you an example. You are the smartest guy in your high school. You graduated top of your class, salutorian, right? And then they pull this game show and then they thrust you into an operating room and you're asked to perform surgery. You're like, I don't know how to perform surgery. And you say the exact words and you win and you get out of there and you get the prize money. But essentially, you could be extremely smart, you could be extremely intelligent, and you can find yourself in a blind spot because one of the things that I feel is a truism is social media pushes the blind spots really hard. There's a lot of videos about certain business models that unless you actually sit down, like 
low content books. That's a valid business model. And if you do it the right way, you can make money. But if you do it the YouTube way, it's gonna set you up for a blind spot. It's gonna set you up to fail. It's gonna set you up to not be successful because one of the things I've been doing is I've been looking at what's on YouTube and I look at what gets views and what doesn't get views. A video talking about, hey, I tried this for a week or tried that for 30 days, they get the views. A video talking about, I actually did the business for a year that don't, they don't get the views because so people are so impatient to make that money to get started and they want to find the right information, but because of the blind spot, because of the speed, they don't often don't find the right information and they get themselves in a very bad situation. So let's talk about a blind spot that you may be facing in your personal life. And that's dealing with your money. Right now, I have a free course. It's gonna be in the description box. And if I don't forget, it's gonna be in the first comment. It's 100% free and it's gonna teach you how to manage your money. It's gonna teach you how to build credit. It's gonna teach you so many things that you are completely blinded by, unaware of, and don't know what to do. But one of the reasons I'm giving this to you is I feel that everyone needs to be financially aware and to have the best thing going on in their financial life so they can win the financial game and they can do the things that they need to do to make a lot of money in the financial space by understanding and optimizing the money that they have today. I used to work with a girl who did not make as much money as I did, but her money management skills were out of this world. This girl had not one but two cars that were paid off. She had a house. And even though she wasn't, she was making like five or six dollars an hour less than what I was making, but because she got really good money management habit skills from her father, she was much further ahead financially than I was, even though I made six, seven dollars an hour more than she did because she had developed the habit of managing her money very wisely, very carefully, and this set her up to have a really optimum adult life. And that's what I want for you. So go below, get the money course, and it's going to help you achieve things that you're completely unaware of. My name is Glendon Cameron. I'm here today, probably be here tomorrow, probably be here 10 years from now, and I will see you in the next video.